guys. <laughs> Time for another. Oh, oh, my beard. Cooking with dog. Oh dang it, the beard. So uh, yeah, for the special occasion, I brought out the special clothing. Of course, guys. You know, this is a tailor-made suit I once had made in Shanghai by a tailor. It's perfectly fit to my body, and um, it holds the spirit and the magic of the Asian cooks. You know, you know them. They are legends. And also, every good cook has a beard, of course, we know that. So, yeah. Um, what are we gonna do today? Well, um, let's get inspired and look at the stuff we have here. Yep. So today, we're gonna make stuff. Sweet peppers. Come on over, let's look at the ingredients. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, so stuffed peppers. You can do that in different variations. Um, we take these super small peppers. Those are not like hot peppers, those are sweet peppers. You can also call it paprika. And yeah, we pick those. There's different forms, shapes, and sizes, but they have a lot of vitamin C. Those are actually from Portugal International. And we're gonna use some hamburger meat here or ground meat and this is pork you can also use mixed or beef or if you're vegetarian of course replace this with something else um, you like and yeah we also need some um, yeah um, tomato sauce basically that's just ground ground down tomatoes no taste or something uh, added just the tomatoes um, and some paprika or sweet pepper you need to put in there later on salt, pepper of course, and rice. In our case, we picked risotto rice. I mean, you can also take normal rice or what basmati rice, whatever rice you want. Do you take me serious with this uh, moustache, by the way? Kind of. <laughs> kind of. All right, um, so yeah, this is basically all we need. And yeah, some eggs if you want to, that's not even a must, but I thought I might add them. And the first stage, of the cooking process will be, as we always can for, simple but tasty and uh, uh, yeah, an addition would be of course if it tastes, uh, if it's um, kind of, wait, first, uh, <laughs> wait, okay, wait, oh, stay, stay with the plan, stay with the plan, we need to teach the people how to cook properly, <laughs> so um, healthy, if it can be healthy that's definitely a plus, so um, first thing you want to prepare the rice. Normally, um, a good way to do rice is just take a cup and then you put your rice in and it's almost, almost always a ratio of two to one or two and a half to one. So one cup of rice, two and a half to two cups of water. And I guess, you know, the, um, don't underestimate the rice, baby. That's what I learned in Asia. Rice can really stuff your stomach and also it pours a lot, you know, it sucks up a lot of water. And actually, it's way more than it looks. It looks like it's a small package here, but yeah, it's a lot of rice if you make if you make such a big cup full of it. Okay, so one cup of rice and one. Two cups of water. That should do the trick here. Turn it on. Give it some. Fire, give it some heat, baby. All the way. You go max power. Put a lid on there. Wait. First stage completed. As simple as that. Man, this beard. All right. So now let's keep on going. In the meantime, while you're working on it, you can put the ground meat back into the fridge. Always better to keep it cool, a bit delicate. As we all know, and now it's time to. Start working on the sweet peppers. Cut them open. You need to wash hands before touching your food, but yeah, it's, it will be hot cooked anyway, so yeah. Most of the germs will be killed. This is also an idea that is behind cooking. So, <laughs> um, what we want to do is we want to cut off the tops here of the sweet peppers, and later on, we're going to refill it with a mixture of the rice and the ground beef, and then put it in the tomato sauce and uh, let it cook and it's gonna taste awesome. There's different variations of that 
Um, this is also not a typical German dish or something as paprika. It's definitely not a traditional German um, yeah, vegetable you would use or sweet peppers. Oh, watch out with the knife. You saw a pro move here, pushing it back so it doesn't fall and cut off our toe. This is a smaller knife you can use to clean out the things. I'll show you in a sec. And in the meantime, the rice is cooking. And yeah, we have quite a bunch of these here. As there are smaller ones, you need a lot, obviously. When you get a bigger one, well, you don't need as many. Cooking is full of logic, so it's a total man's job. That's why the best cooks in the world, obviously, are men. <laughs> Paul Bocuse and others got famous for their moustache. And of course, women cannot have moustaches, or in most cases, they cannot. Thus, um, you know, the real high cuisine is kind of a yeah, men's club. It's a boys' club, you have to say. <laughs> okay, so come on a little bit closer. So we can show the peeps um, how you clean these. See, in there you got the seeds and all. You want to get that all out, so you go in with a small knife. Just go around like that. Knock it a bit here, go in with your finger maybe a little bit if you need to. But a small knife, nice knife comes in handy. And if you do it a little bit carefully, you will be able to clean out all the paprika. And then put it in one of these. And just let them rest and then later on you, close, um, you go through them and wash them clear, carefully. So you get all the rest out of there because, I mean, it's not, they're not too bad these little seeds, but they're a bit, they don't taste too well. So we probably want to get most of them out of there. But as you can see, with uh, the decent tools, perfect small knife, it is a quick job and there's not too many seeds in there. So yeah, I'm gonna clean all these out and gonna let the rice cook and then we'll be back with the next part of cooking with dog second time stuffed paprika for the win okie dokie peeps if you look at the rice you can see there's almost no water in there anymore so make sure to turn it off uh, in time and if you do rice have an eye on it um, you don't want to have it burn uh, because it's really annoying if you have rice burning in one of your pans here that could be painful to clean up so yeah that looks good to me we can put it aside and let it rest a bit um, it needs to cool down a little bit if it's too hot you cannot really continue because you might burn your hands because well yeah you can do it differently but I like to do it uh, with my hands when I go and mix it up so um, let's do the careful way then here you got your um, hamburger meat and then you need a little something where you can put it in mix it up and you put it in there but voila and you can also pull one egg in there it helps with the consistency a bit lets it stick a little bit better so yeah if you get eggs make sure it's uh, like at least bio eggs or something like that because a it should be a little bit more healthy and be, yeah. Like this mass breeding for animals is really bad. So, yeah, knock open an egg, toss it in there, and mix it up already a little bit. So the egg gets really in there. And now it's time to add some of the rice. Um, uh, but as I said, it is pretty warm still. So be a little bit careful. Let me just pour it a little bit here. Whoop. And add it to the mix. Probably all of it. And it should work out if you don't make too much rice. Um, you want to have about a 50-50 mixture in there. And now, just go through and really, really mix it up carefully. Use a spoon when the rice is still so hot. Ideally, you want to let the rice cool a bit. And, and then put it in there. Also make sure to use some of the paprika for the taste. Don't, you know, be cheap with it. Put some in there. And then also, of course, um, oh, let's get some work again. Ah, here we go. Salt, a few twists, and pepper. Freshly ground. Tastes a bit better in my opinion. But yeah, all a question of taste. And now we really need to make sure 
to grind it up properly. Now as we have the uh, pretty cold, cool um, grind meat in there, you should be able to touch it. It's still a bit warm, but you will not burn yourself. Um, all right, so now it's time to fill up the paprika. Okay, next up you can already prepare the next step of the cooking. Put that to the side and you just take your tomatoes and put it in the big pan here in the big pot. It's a pot. Now we finally figured it out. <laughs> put it in the pot and what I like to do is, you know, put some water in there. Like that, make it half full, get the rest of the tomato out of there and I put a bit of water in it. It cannot be, you know, um, only the pure tomato. There should be some water in there because you will lose some of it while you cook it, of course. So everything goes in there. Careful. And the same thing again. Whoop, made a mess. <laughs> and put some water in. That yeah, should be fine then. All right, that's good enough. That's good enough. We don't need too much. Stir it up a little bit. Okay, and we can already turn up the heat there. Give it some heat, but not crazy hot. Yeah, and then you come in with your paprika. So let's do that. Let's give us some space here so we can actually work. Now we're gonna stuff and fill them up and put them right into to the tomato sauce. So here we go. Go in there and put it in there. That's the fun part of it. <laughs> Filling them right up. And a nice trick would be you can always cut the ends of it so that you can squeeze the air out of it. But I enjoy it. It's a bit messy, but it's a lot of fun. And when you have one filled up, well, just dump it into the tomato sauce. And there we go. So as I said, a good trick is cut off the end a little bit so you have a little hole there. I hope you can see that properly. And then you can easily stuff your mixture in there, the rice together with the um, beef or meat. As I said, you can use all kinds of uh, hamburger meat for that. Typically uh, pork is used or mixed um, as far as I know. This uh, dish kind of originates from Hungary, this region. They cook a lot with paprika or also Bulgaria, talking about that. Um, Generic B moved there just recently. So yeah, now all you do is um, fill up all your paprika and as I said, if you have bigger ones, you might have to watch out where you put them in there and yeah, um, stack them in there carefully and yeah, <laughs> it's really, it's that's the fun part of cooking if you can really get messy <laughs> and enjoy it. So put that in. Fill them all up and I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the rest of the stuffing. Alright, so we are almost done stuffing our paprika. Oh man, it's such a nice mess you can create. Mom's in the kitchen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's worth it in the end. Okay. And the last one. Here we go, we have them all filled up. Put it in there, there we go. And now, with the rest, you know, we have quite a bunch. Yeah, I made a little bit too much actually. But you just make little meatballs and put them in there too. And yeah, this will be additional, you know, tastes also great. Just the stuffing mixed with the rice. So make little meatballs and put them in there just with your hand. I might have taken out the rice a, bit, a little bit too early, you know, if you give it some rest and it can actually soak up the water and nicely, then it's not so liquid and it's easier to do, but it still works out like that if you're in a rush or if you want to get things done. So yeah, going to use as much of the uh, stuffing here as we can to put in there and you can also, if you have something left over, you know, just put it in a frying pan and and you can eat it just like that if you fry it a little bit. It also tastes great. Maybe add a little bit of toma tomato and yeah, you have a nice risotto there. Also tastes really good. I often do that with the leftovers of this. And we might end up doing that. It's a little bonus for the cook in the end. And for all the hard work we're putting in here. Alright, making more meatballs. 
put them in and you can see and we're starting to boil real slowly here and as usual you heat it up and then you turn down the heat a little bit to make sure nothing is like really burning and as it is a pretty thick tomato sauce you need to make sure after the meatballs kind of stuck together a bit after they got some heat to carefully steer a little bit but you don't want to go in like a berserker so you might pop um, you will not pop your tomato or your meatballs better say pop your tomato <laughs> so yeah um, I think we're good now we've got uh, about additional 15 or so meatballs in there the rest I will put in the fridge and then later on if I get hungry this night maybe make it real quick let's get my hands washed so yeah now towel here last but not least yeah we created a little bit of a mess here it's always worse going over with a towel real quick get rid of it now we just gotta put a lid on there maybe stir it a little bit yeah it's not sticking to the floor you can easily check that if you go in there a little bit lid on there and turn down the power I mean, this uh, electrical stove, if you have uh, flame really low, you know, you just want to have it slowly, slowly boiling over time and then maybe in 20 to 25 minutes or so it will be done. And yeah, i see you then when we can taste it and see how it turned out. It's good. So, slowly but surely you, you can see if you come closer. The meatballs are really nicely holding together and to figure out if it's actually done there's an easy trick just take a little fork or a fork and try to pinch the, the paprika or sweet peppers a bit and if you can feel you can get in there really softly and easily then it's done you don't want the paprika to be really you know tough still you, you want them to be quite soft and yeah you can definitely feel it we're poking in there but there's quite some resistance still left so nevertheless we can start to put in some more paprika yeah. don't be as I mentioned cheap with it put it in there it's a dish about sweet peppers paprika so use it and to enhance the taste um, one more time a round of salt and pepper Give it some more kick Just like that, stir it a little bit, careful, don't go in there like a berserker as I mentioned before, and then you can now give it a little taste and see if we get what we want already, so let's try it out. Yep, nice tomato-y, paprika-y, with a little bit of sweetness to it, which comes from the sweet peppers, but there's also some heat, you can feel the heat later on, and it really goes well with rosé vibe. Mm. Now, um, I think we're good, we're good, yep. We cook this about 20 minutes and now if you poke into the paprikas they're starting to soften up but you don't want to cook it forever and you want to have a little bit of a bite to it but yep yeah, I think we're cool all right so give it a last stir and now it's time serve our new epic dish don't forget to turn off your oven even if you're hungry or your stove um, keep focused and now we need a little um, like that and here we go time to serve just go in there sweet paprika some tomato some meatballs with it I will take this one <laughs> and here we go I hope you enjoy it you know if you're fancy you can put some I don't know, garnish on there or whatever um, we are hungry we are not fancy 
Although I have to say, I'm really fancy, eh? Isn't that great? <laughs> I hope you would enjoy it, guys. Have fun cooking this yourself. Please let me know if you tried it out, if it tastes good. I hope so. Looking forward to the next cooking with the dog. See you later. I'm out. Bye.